Good evening there everybody. What is happening? Hopefully you all are having a wonderful day today. So I thought that I would put out my fight review of the Kamaru Usman versus Gilbert Burns fight. I thought that I would talk about it. So, <laughs> you know, I have uh, a Facebook probably like a lot of you guys do. And when it comes down to it, I decided to post a comment on one of the, <laughs> I believe it was on ESPN, but maybe I'm wrong. Either way, what I basically said was what I thought about the fight, and it wasn't that long. All I said is that Usman is clearly one of the best fighters that I've seen. Great fighter. But I was a little bit disappointed in Gilbert Burns because, to be quite honest with you, I expected him to have a little bit more of a chin. And a certain amount of people overall, uh, you know, got after me for that. There were some people that agreed with me. There was... Some people overall that say Kamaru Usman is a much harder puncher than you think. And there were some people overall stating that, well, Gilbert Burns ended up getting knocked out by Dan Hooker, who was a 155 pounder, and now Gilbert Burns is at 170. So when it comes down to it, you can't necessarily be surprised. Well, that's not, that's not necessarily something you always want to judge by. Because take Robert Whitaker, for example. Robert Whitaker used to be a fighter at the 170-pound weight class. Robert Whitaker got knocked out by Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Now, one would think, oh, well, since he was knocked out at 170, you know, against the weaker and overall smaller fighters, maybe he'll get knocked out at 185. But that wasn't the case until he met Israel Adesanya. And he had fights with a lot of punchers like Derek Brunson. He had fights with Yoel Romero to where he did get hit a decent amount of times in both of those fights. And he was able to come out on top and survive both of those fights. So you cannot always judge necessarily about who gets knocked out in what weight class and basically say, oh, well, they're going to fare much better in this weight class or that just means they have a weak chin. Why are you surprised? You know, I just thought that maybe just like the Robert Whitaker situation, that maybe 155 pounds was not the weight class for Gilbert Burns. But it seems, and this is not to degrade Kamaru Usman's win at all, this is a monstrous win, but it does seem like Gilbert Burns overall does have a little bit of a chin problem. That's just my opinion on the matter. So it is what it is. Anyway, <laughs> so let's talk about the fight. So the first round overall you know, went a little bit like how I thought it might go. Gilbert Burns was outstriking Kamaru Usman. He was going after the legs. And when it came down to the overall, he was actually able to knock him down a couple of times. And I was very surprised to see early on that Kamaru Usman actually was trying to outstrike Gilbert Burns because Gilbert Burns has a great power. And I thought he was an A great striker. I seen him against the whole time against Tyron Woodley. I seen him against a couple of other fighters, and he did very, very, very well. So, I was a bit surprised to see Kamaru Usman be a little bit ballsy and try to outstrike him. But I think Kamaru Usman overall wanted to prove a point that he's a well-faceted fighter. And he is. Do I still see him as an A-class striker? Mm, not really. But he certainly proved to me that he has more striking ability than I once thought. I'm not going to necessarily say that <laughs> he's an Israel Adesanya or anything. He does lack a decent amount of head movement here and there. He is hittable, and when it comes down to it, I don't necessarily think he has A great striking. But what I will say is that he at least has decent B class striking, and some would argue A class striking because that jab that he had was absolutely phenomenal. One thing you will have to say about Kamaru Usman's striking is that he does have an A grade jab, because that jab was absolutely phenomenal. But when it comes down to the overall, bottom line is this. The second round happened, and it <laughs> interestingly enough, in the first round, when Gilbert Burns was down, Kamaru Usman didn't seem interested to wrestle with them once again, which I was very surprised with. Then the second round comes along, uh, and basically Kamaru Usman starts to stick his jab out there a little bit more. Gilbert Burns is landing leg kicks. I thought he was winning the early part of the second round, but then Kamaru Usman lands a good right hand, and... Gilbert Burns actually did look a little bit tired at certain moments in this fight. And there was a couple people overall that said, well, do you think it was a bad shin or do you think it was just bad stamina? Personally, I believe that it was a bad shin. And the reason why I say that, or at least a shaky shin, because he lasted all five rounds against Tyron Woodley. 
I didn't see him tire out at all. I seen him in other fights to where he looked good in at least good solid three rounds. And this time, it looked like maybe he could have been a little bit tired. But it looked like the nerves got to him a little bit. That's what it looked like to me. So, it is what it is. Maybe the nerves tired him out a little bit. Or maybe, you know, he just does not have as good as conditioning as I once thought. I don't know. But when it comes down to it, Kamaru Usman was able to land a very good right hand that hurt him, you know, in the middle of that round, in the second round. And then he was able to basically win the rest of that round and dominate the rest of that round. Nearly knocked him out in that round. Then the next round comes. He's able to jab him. I believe he knocked him down once. Then overall, Gilbert Burns gets back up. He jabs him again and knocks him down again. And this time, Kamaru Usman strikes him on the ground and the fight is eventually stopped. And I was very surprised about this. You know, there's a certain amount of people, once again, that said, well, do you think it was just his stamina? Well, maybe. But I've seen Gilbert Burns last all five rounds before with somebody, once again, like a Tyron Woodley. And I didn't see him gas out one, you know, one bit. <laughs> so I believe overall it was a little bit because he was hurt. And the more hurt you get, the more gassed you get. So it is what it is. But when it comes down to it, that's just what I truly believe. I believe that it wasn't that great of a chin. And that's just my opinion. My father also had the same opinion. But it is what it is. That being said, um, very good performance by Kamaru Usman. He did have a little bit of trouble in that first round. But he was able to basically adjust throughout the rest of the fight. He, you know, <coughs> excuse me. I still do see some of the same flaws that I see with him in his striking game. I don't see any flaws in his ground game whatsoever. His ground game is a class. His striking, he is a little bit hittable, a little bit straightforward, but his jab is very potent. His right hand, obviously, is very powerful. And when it comes down to the overall, Kamaru Usman is getting better within these fights. You know, so a little bit critical of things here and there. But nothing too bad because Kamaru Usman was very impressive in this performance. You know, Kamaru Usman pretty much showed me what I, I thought he pretty much had. Uh, so it is what it is. But I did predict Kamaru Usman to win this fight. You can check out my prediction video. I did predict him to win, but I thought it would be a wrestling match. I thought that he would out-wrestle him. And I was wondering how that would fare because Gilbert Burns does have very good jiu-jitsu. He also has very good wrestling himself. You know, maybe that's a little bit why Kamaru Usman did not feel like he wanted to wrestle with him. Maybe overall he did not want to risk that or get hit inside the clinch. I'm not sure. But when it comes down to the overall, either way, he was able to pull out and be on top in this fight. So, good for him. Kamaru Usman very clearly is one of the greatest fighters that I've seen. When I take a look at his skill set, uh, he is an A-grade wrestler, at least a B-class striker. And when it comes down to the overall, he's just certainly one of the best fighters that I've ever seen. And when it comes to 170 pounders, the only 170 pounders that I would put above Kamaru Usman, certainly George St. Pierre, but the only other one that I could maybe put over him, and just in terms of accomplishments and title defenses, if you wanted to go that route, would be Matt Hughes. And by looking at it, <laughs> it looks like Kamaru Usman could surpass that very, very soon. So we'll see what happens. I believe Matt Hughes had about five title defenses, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Someone correct me. I can't remember. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But anyway, uh, that's really about it for today. Congratulations to Kamaru Usman. Now what is next for both of these gentlemen? Well, we'll see. Maybe Gilbert Burns overall can get a fight against Jorge Masvidal. That'd be a very interesting fight if Kamaru Usman doesn't take that fight next because that is a money fight. So we'll see what happens. I don't think there's any reason for a rematch because I thought he dominated him the first time, but we'll see what happens. Of course, <laughs> Masvidal is now a big star in the UFC. He is a money gate attraction, so we'll see what happens. All right, Masvidal fans are going to want that rematch, and Masvidal is going to want that rematch as well. So, it is what it is. A Colby Covington rematch could very well be on the table. That is probably the toughest fight Kamaru Usman has had lately because... Colby Covington is pretty much exactly the same as a Kamaru Usman. Kamaru Usman has probably just a little bit better striking, but it is what it is. Anyways, that being said, overall, very, very good performance by Kamaru Usman. One of the greatest fighters that I've personally ever seen. Very, very good fighter. Reminds me a little bit of Habib Nurmagomedov. Extremely well-rounded. But anyway...
well, at least extremely great on the ground and decent in the striking category. Decent enough in the striking category to where you can classify his striking ability probably as B class, you know. And even if he does have some deficiencies in the striking game, it is usually covered up by his ground game ability. But he has a decent enough striking game overall to where he can somewhat compete with people in terms of striking. So Kamaru Usman and Habib Nurmagomedov, decently similar fighters in my opinion. But it is what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. That being said, congratulations to Kamaru Usman. That's pretty much all I have to say on this. We'll see what happens with both of these gentlemen later on. Should be very interesting. And that's all I got for now. See you later.